Hello friends, I'm here today with an important message from Tyler's parents' basement, and that is that I have never been to Primark before. I feel like some of you might not even know what Primark is, that's okay, we're kind of on the same page. In my lifetime, I've watched a lot of haul videos and a lot of Zoella videos. And one of Zoella's favorite place to do haul videos from is Primark. But what is this magical land? I know what ASOS is. Topshop, you know, Topshop's made it across the pond. I have an idea of like what it must sell, right? She gets clothes and home goods. So to me, it's kind of like the marketplace part of Ikea, Forever 21, plus a little bit of H&M, plus a little bit of like the Urban Outfitters gifts in the corner, like the cute trinkets. And they all come together. They have like a little bit of a store, store G, a store orgy. And uh, then they poop out a baby. It's called Primark. I've lived for the better part of the last six years, like 99% of the time in California. So I know that eventually sometime in that time, Primark started popping up on the East Coast. Still never seen one until this trip when we came to Philly to visit Tyler's family for the holidays. You can buy stuff online from Primark, but it seems like part of the fun of Primark is going because she says that like different Primarks are better than other ones, kind of like how like different H&Ms, depending on where you are, have a different selection of stuff. I'm gonna go to Primark for the very first time. I'm gonna do a haul of my own. I honestly, I never thought that this day would come. We are on our way to see Primark for the very first time. There's Tyler. How long until we get there? About five minutes. Oh wow. How you feeling? feel um, excited. I've got some something going on in the bowels, whether it be butterflies or a little bit of gas. Good yeah, thing that we're just in this car with each other and no one else. Oh my lord! Lots of Dick Sporting's goods. But this <laughs> is Primark! Prime real estate for the primest of prime spots. It's a very large and impressive storefront. It looks very modern. It, it's like a glass box on the outside. I think it's gonna be crowded today. I think it's gonna be crowded today too, but it doesn't matter because I will persevere. Free Wi-Fi? Holy crap! When you walk in, they have like a home goods section, and it's a lot of like blankets, pillows. Traffic, cause you're hot. What? Babe, it was made for you. I like this whole IKEA marketplace element, like these things. I mean, we've been standing in this in this part for like They're about leaning heavily minutes. on the memory foam. The mannequins were just like a little creepy because they would hide them in corners. There are a lot of things happening around here. There are a lot of different departments, and it's kind of like. It's kind of like Target where you can easily like transition from one department to the next without knowing that you've done that. So I ended up in the whole girl section for a while. Just from the haul videos I've seen, I definitely understood there were different departments. I don't think I guessed how many departments. Like the floor plan was very open and very large. Alive. We've gotten to the point where bags are exciting for Sophia. It's a bag. It's not a bag. There was a lot of stuff that I picked up being like, this is a good deal. Like I want this flannel. Like I want this backpack. Harry Potter. Oh, uh, Harry Potter. Oh. Uh. Like I want this shiny backpack. Like I want this mesh hat. And then when I stepped back, I was like, oh, do I just want this because I think it's a good deal or do I actually want this? This is a story about a boy named Tyler. Early morning. And I was like, no, I think I'm just going for it because I think it's a good deal. The thing is, we gotta be careful because this stuff will add up. I mean, there's a lot of stuff in a lot of places and a lot of people. So you kind of like rummage, but when you find something good, you have a sense of accomplishment. I think I did an okay job of restraining myself. Not a great job, an okay job. Okay, so I just checked out and um, I'm pretty pleased with my haul, but I'm gonna go meet Tyler in the food court because he gave up a little while ago and started eating Chinese food. <laughs> and I said, Goodbye to Primark. No? So, now to the most exciting part of it all. My haul. My very first Primark haul. So the first thing I got is this that I refused to leave behind. And I honestly probably should have left it behind because it was kind of a bitch to fit in an RC case. This memory foam pillow. I'm getting this. I don't care if we have to ship it home. The tag says $12 but it was on sale for 10. And um, it is bamboo memory foam. That seems like a nice kind. Let's get it out of this case because I've been waiting to open this thing up. I haven't even opened it up, felt it or anything. Oh my God, it feels so nice. I'm gonna get makeup all over it just by putting my face on it. Feels so nice on my body. Oh yeah, yeah. You know what this pillow is gonna be perfect for? Putting between your legs. 
while sleeping. Oh yeah. I mean, I wouldn't say that this is gonna be better for cuddling than Tyler, but sometimes Tyler's face gets scratchy when he forgets to shave. That's item number one. So the next thing I got was a little bit of a, maybe I should get this, maybe I shouldn't get this. I got this plain black zip up sweatshirt. I got it because it was nine bucks and I thought that it's like a basic that I would totally use and kind of like schlep around the house in, but also you could kind of put it over like a cute tight dress and make the tight dress less like going out-ish and more like daytime-ish. So I have to do this with a lot of my sweatshirts. I oftentimes just grab the ends of my armholes and kind of just like stretch out the arms, just kind of like by holding them. I do know specifically that my wingspan is almost identical to that of the turkey vulture. And it's a soft jacket and I liked it, so. I got it. So the next thing I got was this black and gold glittery camisole tank top type situation. Just from double checking my receipt, I'm pretty sure that this thing was on sale for like $3. Something about it made me feel like I was like gonna go out, which is a funny joke because I don't do anything besides hang out with my boyfriend and my cat, but that's okay. But it was on sale and it was kind of festive feeling and it was sparkly, so I was like, let's go for it. Let's do this. So this is what the black and gold cami looks like on. Another reason I liked it is because the straps are kind of far apart from each other. So you don't have that weird thing sometimes where like if your straps are further in, you can see your bra strap or you can kind of get this little like armpit moment. You guys know this armpit moment. So I really like how far apart the straps are and the fact that it covers like this area specifically. I feel like I would probably wear it with like black high-waisted jeans and like some combat boots, you know, and just kind of stomp around. A stomp around top for $3 ain't a bad deal to me. So the next thing is one of the more expensive things that I bought. I got this top. This top kind of like checks all the boxes for me. I'm like, yep. Cold shoulder, black, ribbed, some texture to it. And it was 14 bucks. This is the black cold shoulder top on. I just love a good cold shoulder. I love shoulders. I think shoulder pads are kind of hot. And most of my arm hair is concentrated on the lower arm. So this way you just get to see my kind of fuzzy shoulders. There's no way I could approach the entire display of chokers without coming away with a choker. Whenever there are like little motifs around, I almost always go for moons and stars. I like that kind of like celestial vibe. Ooh, I gotta cut this, huh? Or you're not gonna get this out of, oh, let me in. All right, that's on. I think the moon is actually a little bit longer than I anticipated. The moon's kind of hitting me below my boobs, but I do love that kind of like layered effect. To me, the layered choker is very like Tudor England. Here's my necklace, here's my cross, and here's my smelling salts. You know, you've got everything you need right here. I got three things from the hosiery section, so I'll just show them all to you guys right now. The first thing is these three pairs of weather sensor finish opaque tights. It says that they keep you warm when it's cool and cool when it's warm. I don't know if that's true because that seems like magic. It just seemed like a good idea to stock up for those days where I just really don't wanna shave my legs. The next thing I got were these three pairs of cushion sole shoe liners, which I think just means socks. It says USA sizes six to 10, of which I am a nine and a half, 10. So I'm at the upper end of the range. You know what they say about long feet? long socks. But they look kind of long, so I feel like we'll be able to fit the old gals in there. And then the last hosiery thing I got are these HP socks, Harry Potter cozy socks. My motto is that you can never have too much Harry Potter merchandise. And I will single-handedly prove that motto correct. I think I forgot to say, the tights are $6, the socks are $4, and the Harry Potter socks are $3.50. So this is the most expensive thing that I got. It was 16 bucks and it is this polyurethane skirt. It's like a pleather material, so it has that kind of like fabric-y inside, but sort of like leatherish outside. And there are pockets. I like it because it's kind of got like a little bit of like a badass look, but it's also got kind of like a business casual look at the same time. It is a little bit slippery, but I think it's kind of fun. And uh, just gotta kind of suck in a little bit and you know, hope for the best. My second to last thing that I got are these cheetah headlights. They were $3 and I couldn't say no to a cat. I decided to get these. I don't know where I'm putting them yet. I just like them a lot. So it is battery operated and not something you plug into an outlet, but they do have a little on off switch. So you can just become drunk with power. We're just having a good time, huh? So the very last thing I got, because I didn't want to go through the Primark beauty section and not get anything at all, is this little flawless finish concealer brush from 
P.S. Look, it's a dupe for those Artiste brushes that look like toothbrushes that you put on your face. I actually have a different dupe for the Artiste brushes that's a little bit larger than this. So I got the really small one. This was $3.50. I can't say I've ever used a real Artiste brush, so I don't know exactly what it feels like. This one, it feels a little firm, but I think that's kind of the point. It feels like it could be good for crevices. All right, so that's my haul and my journey. I do know what Primark is now, and I'm very glad that I do. I feel like I'll be able to watch Primark hauls with like, a new sense of belonging. It's definitely a little more of an outing. It takes some effort to like look through and shop there. So I see why people do hauls of it because it's almost like look at my booty. And by booty, I mean like loot. But I think the effort is worth it. And I really like these socks that I'm now wearing on my hands because I just wanted you guys to see them. My hands are getting warm though. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked that video, make sure to smash that like button. And if you wanna see more videos like this, make sure to smash that subscribe button. And also make sure to smash that little bell icon in the middle to turn on post notifications so you get a notification every time I post. Here are my social media handles and make sure to check out my next beat. I do a lot of Q and A's and daily vlogging on there. And I'm just gonna keep smacking my hands together because then it makes the Harry Potter scar unite into one. And it's kind of like a weird exercise and now I'm just kind of doing it. Singing a song all day long at home.